Good. This is uh, so. This is a state representative, Mike Nierman, again. So a well-regulated militia, and I think that um, uh, we we hear the word militia today, and I don't. I think of guys in uh, in tactical gear and all that kind of stuff. I don't think that's what the founding fathers were talking about. What, what I think the founding fathers were talking about is they were talking about all of us, about you and me, about that um, uh, just uh, not state re representative Mike Nierman, but just citizen Mike Nierman, but he, he knows how to operate his firearm like that. And because of that, that causes the uh, Japanese in, the, in World War II to not want to invade America because they know that there's too many guys out there like Mike Nierman and know how to operate a firearm and if so, he's going to run into me. And he might run into me as a member of the regular army, and he might run into me as a member of the Oregon National Guard, or he might run into me as just Mike Nierman protecting his own backyard. And so uh, uh, that's what I think that they were thinking of when they wrote well-regulated militia. information today about the December 21st protest in Salem involving an apparent security breach. This comes after historic events played out yesterday at the U.S. Capitol. Blake Allen has more. A rainy January day in Oregon turning hectic as Oregon State Police attempted to control a protest at the state capitol. The group becoming agitated at police after they threatened to use crowd control munitions and refused to leave. Moments before police intervened, there were bangs from fireworks and people could be seen injured and pouring milk in their eyes. Okay, Oregon State Police are now investigating Representative Nierman, and he could face charges and punishment from the legislature. Couple his behavior with the rhetoric from Oregon State Senator Dallas Hurd, who Wednesday attended this pro-Trump rally in Salem and called his Democratic colleagues enemies of the people. Because see, yesterday, we talked about this guy. He's Oregon State Representative Mike, Neer Mike Neerman, a Republican from Independence. And last month, when Oregon's very own pocket of violent and armed protesters stormed the halls of our Capitol, it turns out Rep Neerman is the guy who opened the door and let him in. Well, the Oregon legislature starts its new session next week, and there's already drama. Oregon State Representative Mike Neerman, seen here in surveillance cameras, leaving the Capitol and letting violent writers inside last month has now been stripped of all of his committee assignments. House Speaker Tina Kotek has now called for his resignation. Kotek also fined him 2000 bucks to cover the costs of damage to the Capitol and will file a formal conduct complaint for, quote, creating a hostile work environment. Representative Neerman will not have badge access to the Capitol and will have to provide 24 hours notice each time he wants to come. I and my men will seep into your homes, your towns, your public offices. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing you can do. I hate this part. Uh, I want to tell you that something truly shocking happened at the Oregon legislature. A man who is a representative of the people let some of those people into a state capitol building which is owned by those people. There's going to be a fight here. Thanks, and I'm Representative Mike Nierman from uh, Independent. So, um, uh, yeah, I think there are some problems with gun laws. Again, we're we're trying to we're trying to find a, a happy medium here, where we respect the rights of law-abiding people to to um, exercise their rights to own arms. And on the other hand, we want to keep arms out of the hands of uh, felons and mentally ill people. We have to find a balance there, and that's what, that's what we're trying to do here. And that's what we try to do in the legislature. So, um, so there's room for uh, disagreement and argument on that. Cocked and ready. I want to tell you that something truly shocking truly happened shocking. at the Oregon truly legislature. Shocking. But at the Oregon legislature, this is the shocking thing that happened. Oregon State lawmaker Mike Neerman, are you going to quit? I think so. I don't know that for sure. 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 They all lived in the 16th century. They're phony. They're phony. They're phony.
what things happened within the building that were so bad? Let us in! 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 Was somebody killed? Was there a murder we didn't hear about? What things happened within the building that were so bad? What terrible calamities happened within that building after after that door opened? Let us in! 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 Mike, the liberals want you to resign your office. I don't think you've done anything wrong. And I'm going to work around that hole. What terrible calamities happened within that building? Was there property destruction like we saw some of at the U.S. Capitol? Was there a murder we didn't hear about? Was somebody killed? What things happened within the building that were so bad? What terrible calamities happened within that building? Mandatory training on workplace safety, vaccine mandates, and they want to take away your guns. It's all political. Mandatory training on workplace safety, vaccine mandates, and they want to take away your guns. Harassment, mandatory training on workplace safety, vaccine mandates, and they want to take away your guns. All the power. The Democrats have all the power. This is all 100% political. I and my men will I and my your men will see I you my your men will see you your homes. Public towns, your public offices. The cards are stacked against them. Was there property destruction like we saw some of at the U.S. Capitol? I think so. Somebody kicked a glass door and broke it. Was somebody yes. assaulted? And I saw that uh, a police officer was sprayed with bear mace. And that's if bad. that happened, that's, yeah, that's unfortunate, yeah. Fortunate, yeah. Unfortunate, yeah. Fortunate, yeah. Unfortunate, yeah. Fortunate, yeah. Unfortunate, yeah. Was the door kicked from outside the building by people outside the building or kicked by somebody inside the building? Because there is a difference there, right? And it looked to me, uh, so again, I don't, I don't know these things. Uh, I, I just, whatever I read in the media, it looked like the door was kicked from the outside. So it wasn't that somebody was let in and kicked a door, but I don't, I don't know that for sure. <laughs> Hey, who here? Who here's a three percenter? All right, we got quite a few of those. Who here's an oath keeper? All right, good, good, good. Glad to see it. Glad to see you guys here. Was the door kicked from outside the building by people outside the building, or kicked by somebody inside the building? Because there is a difference there, right? Somebody kicked a glass door and broke it. So whatever. What do you suppose that does for me? She's all worried about safety. It's not about safety. Is they don't want you in the building. What do you suppose that does for me? That imperils my ability to get a fair trial on that. What do you suppose that does for me? Little old Mike Nerman, who'd never heard a fly, have you ever seen a more epic act of bullying? Let us in! Let us in! Let us in! Let us in! I don't think you've done anything wrong. It's all political. This is the Oregon State Police. This has been declared an unauthorized. What do you suppose that does for me? Mandatory training on workplace safety, vaccine mandates, and they we want to take away your guns. You leave the Capitol grounds or you will be subject to an arrest under arrest disorderly conduct. I and my men will seep into your homes, your towns, your public offices. Who here is a three percenter? All right, we got quite a few of those. Who here is an oath keeper? All right. Good. 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 All right. If you make your way to Oregon, we will make our way to your home. I don't think you've done anything wrong. Make your way to Oregon, and we will make our way to your home. We will travel.
across the U.S. We will sweep this nation. Power of the people. We the people. We can sweep this nation. New Year's a three percenter. All right, we got quite a few of those. Who here is an Oath Keeper? All right, good, good, good. Glad to see it, glad to see you guys here. Make your way to Oregon, and we will make our way to your home. We will travel across the U.S. We will sweep this nation, power of the people. We the people, we can sweep this nation. I don't think you've done anything wrong. Was somebody yes. assaulted? Mike, the liberals want you to resign your office, but tell me why the speaker, Tina Kotek, should resign her office instead. She's all worried about safety. She's not okay with, uh, with uh, Republicans doing things that they can't talk about. She had the video for 16 days. Have you ever seen a more epic act of bullying? Epic act of bullying? Epic act of bullying? Epic act of bullying? And they just wait for, uh, for one Republican to do something. They don't want people like me in the building. Little old Mike Nerman, who'd never heard a fly, it's not about safety, is they don't want you in the building. <laughs> What do you suppose that does for me? Little old Mike Nerman, who'd never heard a fly, that imperils my ability to get a fair trial on that. Probably saw the video, it got a little bit hectic. Uh, a few people got uh, assaulted. What I can hear from just uh, talking to people, they're gonna probably occupy this capital. I don't think these people are gonna go anywhere. So uh, if you guys wanna um, come out here, uh, participate, hopefully this will spark something. Um, not just here, but in capitals across the country, because if, if we don't take this back, man, we're done. We're done. Um, so we're just trying our hardest to be aggressive in, in a peaceful way. I also want to be critical of the media. This is uh, so. This is State Representative Mike Nierman again. Are you serious right now? If it wasn't for you guys right now, these dudes are getting their shit smashed in. You've lost yourselves. You've lost yourselves. You have all lost yourselves. It's over. It's no more. This has been declared an unlawful assembly pursuant to ORS 166.025. Good. This is uh, so. This there is State go. Representative Mike Nierman again. Fuck you. This is for walking on us today. Yeah. I've been there for you all fucking summer. Fuck you. This is the Salem Police Department. We're all commanded to disperse and list location immediately. Fuck you! No! 
Good. This is uh, so this is representative Mike Nearman.